Hello guys and welcome back to another tutorial for Amp Creator. Today what we're going to take a look at is a little neat trick that I found by accident. So we're going to do a little bit of things like we've done with these leaves here and this is actually part of a mod that I'm working on but I will explain why this strategy won't be the greatest for actually setting up. I thought I would share it anyways because there is it's a great way to actually explain why this is not the best way of making a mod for changing vanilla Minecraft and just some other useful tips and then we'll get into actually how to create it now basically with the the blocks there these are vanilla blocks this is an entire jungle that is vanilla so if we go into our options resource and just switch the default to higher priority we can see that the leaves are the vanilla ones if we switch to default so if we switch back and go to resources and then switch our mod resources to higher priority then what what we can see is they're the same as the vanilla models it's just the model has a different model state so we're going to be doing something like that the reason why this is not great for actually designing something like this is because minecraft already has a built-in system for doing that and as you can see if we go to resources there is only mo one mod resources file and it says resources for two mods so it's bundled under that particular one designated resource that's not going to be useful for a whole bunch of mods that are trying to change the vanilla game so I will cover how to make resource packs with M Creator in the future, but we're going to look at how to do it with mods and basically that will help you guys kind of get used to what the JSON format is and kind of show you some insight what you can do with it. All right, so we are going to do a couple things. The first thing that we need to do is preparation and we'll be making our model today and getting that all set up. And then what we'll do is we'll, next episode, what we'll do is we're going to work on the mod, getting that all ready and set up because there is some stuff that we need to do for that. And then the final one, we'll work on the JSON files and get that all configured for our mod itself. So there's three main tutorials that we're going to do. Today we're just going to do preparation and setting that all up. So if you're going to need three main programs. The first one that you're going to need is Blockbench. You're going to need Notepad++ for editing the JSON files and you're also going to need an archive program such as WinRAR or 7-Zip. I recommend using 7-Zip because they don't throw ads at you but some people prefer them throwing ads at you. That's okay. That, do what you want but but uh, the method will be pretty much the same thing. I'll be using 7-Zip for the tutorial. So let's open up Blockbench and we will create a very simple Java model. So once you've opened up Blockbench, what you need to do is select Java block slash item. And then you want to give this a name. We're gonna be creating a vanilla leaf block like we've done in the other example. So we're gonna go oak underscore leaves all lowercase. And then we want to just leave the parent uh, model did the same blank, basically blank, create a new. And then we're actually going to need to do a couple other things. We're first going to need to create a mesh. So we're going to need to create basically a pane of a 16 by 16 grid. So we're going to expand it the width of our grid and then we're going to bring it up to 16. And then we're going to bring it in from the side to five blocks in. So four, you could probably get away with four honestly. So we'll do four. And then you want to make sure that you're your pivot point is set to 8, 8, and 8. That's important for what we'll be doing next. We actually need to import a texture so we can see what's going on with the UV. Uh, it's best to do the vanilla texture so you can kind of see what it will look like in base game. So we actually need to go and get those vanilla textures. I have them already on my desktop, but I'll show you how to get them. So we'll need to go to search, go percent app data percent, and then the app data will folder will show up. You want to go to your dot Minecraft, and then you want to go to version versions and you'll need 7-zip to do this but find the folder that you have for the version of mod you're working on click on 1.15 and then click open with 7-zip open archive and you're going to need these folders right here assets and data are the folders that you're going to need you want to just drag them onto your desktop it'll take a little bit of time to transfer the files because there's a lot of stuff in them and then you just want to put it under a folder that's like 1.15.2 minecraft textures or something like that when you 
have something like that all set up, if we go to my M creator, I actually have a couple folders for those different versions. So if we go to resources, Minecraft files, 1.15.2, and then I have both these folders right here. And then we're going to go into assets, Minecraft, textures, and then we want lock, and then you want to search for oak logs or oak leaves, pardon me. And then when you find the oak leaves, you just want to drag that to your desktop so you can basically set it up in Blockbench. So what we're going to do is just import or import texture, select our oak leaves, and we're gonna import it like that. And then we're gonna assign our mesh, our texture. And as you can see, it's all just one solid texture. There's something obviously going wrong with that. And that's because it's just set up for one pixel right up here. To fix that, what you wanna do is go to open the UV dialog to see all the next options, other sides and stuff like that. You wanna click on the relative auto UV and that will assign it basically all the different sides. Now, some of them that aren't being used will be a assign textures as well that's fine just make sure that you disable that next so north is basically just one line so we're going to disable north we can do that by just clicking the x button right down here that will disable it south is not being used either and neither is up or down so we're going to disable those textures as well. the next thing that you will notice is that the texture is not exactly the same as this one right here to fix that what you want to do is you want to find if you don't have these tools already then you're wanting to add them is UV mirror X and UV mirror Y you can do that by going and clicking on the three dot icon on that toolbar and clicking customize and then you'll need to find them in this dialog box here which are set up on our main dialog when you have that what you want to do is you want to set click the mirror X and that will basically mirror the other side to properly UV map like it should be so as you can see now it's fixed after you've done that, what you want to do is you actually want to duplicate this, but we're going to name this cube one to begin with. And then what we're going to do is duplicate it. And we're going to need to rotate this a few times. So the first thing that we need to do is figure out what axis we're going to be rotating it on because our axis up and down is green. What we want to do is rotate it on that axis. So rotate and you want to go to transformation and then rotate. And then you want to set rotate y, positive Y and you're going to to duplicate it again and then you're going to want to rotate it again and you want to duplicate it one more time rotate it again and you should have something like this so when you have that what we need to do now is rotate or create another one and we're going to do the top and bottom or we'll just have like a grid pattern like this and that will look really good so what we need to do is figure out the next rotation we know that it's right here but we are going to need to rotate it on the y-axis because we want to flip it this way right so why is the rotation that we're going to be flipping it or whatever red axis it is so like that and as you can see we have it on the bottom and we're going to duplicate it one more time and then what we're going to do is we're going to actually flip or rotate this two times so we're going to go rotate one and then rotate two and then we have our texture like this which is what I have in the actual example above or before we had so when you have done that what you want to do is you want to assign your texture you can leave this part out if you want to we'll be changing that later but one thing to note is our variable is set to zero it might be best just to leave it for the time being I'll show you how to edit it later on make sure to save this project save as and then you want to save it as a block bench model so you can come back and edit it later and then you want to export your model export block slash item model and then you want to export it to your desktop as well and that's all there is for this particular part I will be showing you how to basically get your model set up and then followed by that the video after that we'll be showing you how to edit the json file to make it the leaves work for a mod outside that if you're new to my channel don't forget to subscribe comment down below rate the video and i'll see you guys next time thanks for watching peace out